Hello YouTube and welcome back once again to the Hero of Balance. When last we left off, Bim, the Leopard Seal Man demigod, was putting the finishing touches on a couple of structures in his new compound, with the help of his ever loyal Honey Badger Men followers. After the construction was complete, they spent the rest of the day eating, drinking, and of course dancing. Upon awaking the following day, our hero discovered that his legendary artifact Golden Mace Astestalon was nowhere to be seen. Hey, uh, YouTube, try not to freak out here. But I'm taking a look in my inventory and I no longer see Astestalon. Anybody have any freaking idea why that might be? I know I sure don't. Dwarf Fortress, you are killing me, I'll tell ya. Dude, that sucks ass. Is that some sort of a glitch? <sighs> Or did one of you goddamn honey badgers take it? And upon thoroughly questioning his followers, he eventually came to the conclusion that they may have had nothing to do with it going missing, but decided to punish them for their lack of vigilance anyways by assigning them to construct a glorious wooden temple to the great balanced beard Itel. Alright, there we have it. You can see this ground level is supported by these four corners, which are two Z levels tall, and then we have a roof that goes in a little bit, with a floor on top of that, and some more walls in the middle with ramps on top, kind of like spikes. Simple, understated, should get the job done. So now unarmed, except for a particularly janky axe he had made with a branch and a stone, our hero must now travel to the dwarven fortress of Dlerschlid in search of new arms. On his trek, Bim ran into a group of helpful warthog folk who, like the Honey Badger Men, agreed to assist him in his quest for balance, or to entertain the world. Overall, the conversation was a little murky. Let us stop this pointless fighting. NEVER! Ugh, okay, I've been through this whole song and dance before. You see, creatures like this can communicate only through the art of dance. Let's entertain the world together. It would be so great to perform and make people happy. <laughs> I thought you'd see it that way. Anywho. Before arriving at the Dwarven Fortress, Bim and his Warthog followers decided to stop at the Dwarven Hillocks of Morningruff, a place they had not yet explored. Probably abandoned, but I suppose it couldn't hurt to take a look. Is this small village one of the last remaining holdouts of a Dwarven community, or has it been overtaken by the goblins of the Nightmare of Webbing? Our hero and the pigmen cautiously approach a Dwarven structure of some variety. It resembles a mound of dirt in the side of which is a small doorway. A great many noises can be heard coming from within. All right, YouTube, uh, we're here. It's kind of strange, though. It is lagging worse than I've ever seen this game lag. And inside this little building up to the north, I hear something. There's a lot of something in this building, like a real lot of something. And I think that's what's causing it to lag. I've got a pretty bad feeling about this. Yeah, look at that. There's a lot going on in there, whatever the hell it is. Um, you know, I think I'm going to travel away from this building for now. Maybe I'll see if there's any smaller structures. How about right here? Yeah, there's another little structure here. I'm going to move up to it. Oh my god, lag once more. Ugly. Yeah, there's something not right with this place. Maybe I can get up to the entrance of this building here. I don't hear any noises from inside this one. Oh, there we are. Of course we hear a bunch of noises now. I just have this horrible feeling that this building here is loaded with piles of goblins. And this lag is killing me, by the way. It probably takes five minutes for me to move one space. Oh shit, there's a goblin up to the north. Uh, kind of moving this way. I think I will shout out to this goblin, who currently has a lethal stance towards me. I will demand that he yields. You must yield! I yield! I yield! <laughs> Damn straight you do, you rat bastard. Alright, now we'll saunter on up to him, which will take probably about a half hour. Oh, looks like he's running away. Get back here, you chicken shit. Come be balanced. You know, I've got a feeling I should not be dicking around out here. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I must withdraw! Yeah, you chicken shit. Alright, tell you what, this lag is goddamn awful. Um, maybe I'll just, like, approach from the side and see if that helps the whole lag situation. It does not. And so I will, I'm just gonna go somewhere else in this area. Maybe we could find some goblins just kind of wandering around or something. Not that killing goblins is my current mission or anything. I mean, I guess if you want to get technical, I should find a decent weapon first. Not this uh, branch with a rock on it. But I guess I'm getting a little sidetracked. Oh my god, and here's that damn lag again. Yeah, I guess I'll just head over to the east again, back up this hill. The lag doesn't seem nearly as bad up here. Oh, our goblin, who currently has a no-quarter stance towards me. I'll ask for him to yield. You must yield! You first, coward! You know what, screw this. We gotta bring balance to this world. And you're gonna be the first step, you rat bastard. Cuxlecast, go! And he blocked it with his shield. So we wait for him to approach, and I strike him with my axe. 
that I made myself with a rock and a branch. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to bite him in his upper body. He blocked me. I'll grab his arm with my teeth, and he blocked me again. I'll go for his neck with my axe, and she jumps away. Well, apparently it's a female. God, you goblins are ugly. I will go for that lower body with my axe. And my axe broke. Fantastic. And the shot was deflected by her breastplate. I'm starting to get a little concerned here. This is one goblin. Ah, gave her a good bite in her leg. Oh, shit. I punched her in the head. I tore apart her spine's nervous tissue and opened an artery. We'll call that a firm hit. Be balanced. Time for a little mace fury. Oh, wait, we don't have a mace anymore. Fist fury! And she's dead. Yes. Yes! I will grab her halberd. Halberd? However you pronounce it. Oh, and she's got a forgotten beast tooth amulet. I'm taking that, and I will take her mutilated corpse and throw it off this cliff here. Just like this. See ya, bitch. But you know what? I'm gonna grab some of this armor here, and I wanna see if these warthog people can wear this. How about you, frail warthog man? Hey. Okay. It's good to see you. I will give him some items. Bunch of goblin armor. How kind. Thank you so much. <laughs> these warthog people. I'm feeling randy today. Really? All right. The frail warthog man reorganizes his possessions. Interesting. As in he dumped all the armor onto the ground. <laughs> so I just hand him all this armor and he just throws it on the ground. Ungrateful. Maybe it didn't fit him. That's a shame. Well, I suppose we can keep traveling. I mean, we're supposed to be going to Delairshalid, really. Because I need me some proper weapons. And so Bim Silversnarl continued on his quest to Delairshalid. As usual, the trek through the scabrous prairies was fraught with danger. Living corpses stalked his every step, or flop, however the hell he makes himself move. But eventually, the fortress was reached, with Bim and his companions no worse for wear. Once down in the fortress, Bim discovered that the artifacts of Delershalid had gone missing as well. For not a single glistening artifact remained down in Delershalid's bowels. Wait a second, where the hell are all the artifacts? They're just gone? A disturbing turn indeed. But all was not lost as our hero did come away with an armful of weapons. Masterfully crafted iron hammers, made by the dwarves of Delerchalid themselves, as well as a selection of cruel weapons, picked off of the remains of goblins left to dry in the sun. And so with his newfound arms and allies, our hero Bim fought his way back through the scabrous prairies and began the long journey home to Snarl Hill. Hmm, there's a couple of groups here. Makes me a little nervous. But, what the hell. I could use a good fight. I don't see anything yet. Whoa, fire? What the hell? There's fighting! That's alarming! A goblin mace man, I just heard him. Uh, a whole bunch of goblins, they seem to be panicking. I don't know what's got them so freaked out. Perhaps it's the sight of a vengeful demigod. Get over here, you green-skinned bastards. Be balanced. Here's a goblin pike man. Whose neck I just broke. He has yielded to me, but that matters very little at this point, and he has died. Now we have a goblin mace man, who seems to think he can escape. That's cute. Dead. Oh shit, they're starting to gang up on me. There's two of them fighting me here, and I just broke one of their legs. There's also a swordsman up on the hill above me, and he's dead. Just killed a goblin pike man, and yet another swordsman. These guys are easy. Sounds like there's something just to the south here on the other side of this mound. More goblins. Goblins who are going nowhere. Where are you going, you cowards? Accept balance! YouTube, this is a beautiful thing, I gotta say. These goblins do not stand a chance against me. Right there. A single hit killed that guy. Looks like down here there's a hammer man. Death! This is truly horrifying! <laughs> yes, it is. If only you knew how horrifying. As I whack him in the stomach with my war hammer. And what the hell? I'll give him another. <laughs> a couple solid hits to the stomach. Broke his leg and his knee. Give him another hit to the stomach. He's really rather sturdy. And he's dead. There's still goblins all over the damn place here, but it's hard to see them. Just now, two swordsmen, a crossbowman, and a maceman all talked. Son of a bitch, someone just shot a crossbow at me. Very dangerous, by the way. Gotta find this bastard. Where the hell are you? You can see one of my loyal pigmen just to the north. Sniff him out. Pretend he's a truffle. <laughs> oh my god, this warthog man. In a time before time, somebody attacked somebody. <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me? That is so irrelevant. Oh my god. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I love this goddamn game. 
I can still hear these damn goblins. I can't see them worth a shit, though. Someone just shot another bolt at me. Oh, here's one. A chubby goblin crossbow man. Get the hell over here, you asshole. Scramble engaged. Uh, we got a spearman here. Uh, correction, a spearman with a broken leg. Uh, correction, a spearman who is dead. Crossbow man, where the hell is he? Uh, there's another spearman up to the north. We'll try chasing him down. Whoa, hey now, there's a dwarf over here. An axe dwarf. I don't particularly want to go killing dwarves now. That's not going to help bring balance to the world. So I'll ask for a cease to hostilities. Let us stop this pointless fighting. I will fight no more. Well, good. Um, you know, I'm going to continue talking with this dwarf. And actually, let's see if they want to join me, huh? Join me on my adventures. I'm sorry, my duty is here. Ah, <sighs> damn it, go figure. Well, as long as she stays out of my way, I have no qualm with her whatsoever. Although she probably is associated with these goblins here from the looks of it. You are balanced, you are equal, so you shall live today. Goblins, however, are a different story and I still hear them yelling. It certainly is hard to track down these bastards. Oh, there's one, real close. I'm gonna scramble up to it. You're not going anywhere, right to the leg. And now they're nice and balanced. A couple more goblins over here. This is fantastic. This world's gonna be balanced in no time. Shot to the stomach, whomp. And the upper body, and ripped open his spine. Swordsman here, who I missed and who ran away. Crossbowman, with a broken neck. This really is going well, isn't it? I really should remember to loot these guys. I'm not sure if they'll have anything worth taking, but it's gotta be worth a look, right? I should start picking up these weapons. They're just all over the goddamn place now. It'd be a shame to leave them behind. I mean, Bim can't wear dwarf armor because it's too small, but he still can wield his dwarf weapons. Maybe the warthogs and the honey badgers can wield them as well. I'd have to think so. Now whether they use them or not is a different story. I just got a crossbow and some bolts off this goblin here. That could come in handy. Got a hammer dwarf here following me, who I do not want to kill, so I'll ask for a cease to hostilities. Let us stop this pointless fighting. I will fight no more. Darn tootin'. Oh, what the hell? It just struck at me. What are you, some sort of liar? Well, if anything, you're now counted as an enemy to balance and must pay for this crime. Broken hands. Oh, I missed. Oh, I punched her in the leg and her leg exploded into gore? Holy shit. Damn, that's a hell of a punch right there. Well, you know, you can just sit there with that for now. What do you think? I do see another goblin up to the northeast. Some sort of a ranged goblin. My least favorite to fight. Shooting bolts at me as I chase him. You know what? Kugshakas! Go! I missed. Balance shall be wrought. Kugshakas! Go! Missed. Starting to get tired from all this scrambling. I'm not sure I can catch up with him now. Uh, I think he ran off. Lost sight of him. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, let's try out this travel mode here and see if I can catch up with their little uh, asterisk here. Oh. Uh, I feel uneasy, apparently. That happened just as soon as I tried to move in travel mode. Damn goblins. Must have laid in ambush. Gonna have to be careful. Oh man, there's a whole bunch of goblins here. But they seem fairly disorganized. And cowardly? Yeah, they don't seem to want to attack me. They're a mistake. Bim is amazing in combat. Two hits just killed a mace man. This hammer man here is a toughie, but not no more he ain't. Got some more goblins here just kind of standing around. Odd. Foolish. Dead. Single hit. <laughs> I broke this guy's foot and killed an axe man. I can't believe how well this episode's going so far. Not something I should have said, but here we are. How you pigs doing back there? Hang in there. Let's try traveling again. Oh, I've got these two groups following me. I don't know why. Let's see if they regret it. Yeah, it's goddamn goblins again. They were following me. Now they're running away when I approach them. They crave balance. So be balanced. Got a couple dwarves up here, one of whom is attacking me. I have no quarrel with you, dwarf. They attacked me. And so they must be punished. Oh my god. Bim has taken a hit. The Hero of Balance and those crazy honey badgers will return after these messages. Hey YouTube, how's it going? I really hope you're enjoying this episode so far. I really enjoyed making it, that much is sure. And YouTube, recently I realized that I really love doing this, like big time. I want to make it my thing, and I want this channel to grow. I want to do different series, different games, I just want to make content that weird people like you and I can enjoy. Uh, roguelike sort of things. I want to play games that don't have a lot of graphics so I can gussy them up with a narrative or some artwork, that sort of stuff. I, I think it's right up in my alley. I think I found my thing. Uh, that being said, YouTube, there are certain costs involved with this, you know, like the crayons and pens and notebooks, that sort of stuff. 
uh, as well as the music. Every song costs a couple bucks. Software, that sort of junk, I've already put in a substantial amount of my own money. Uh, maybe you see where I'm going with this. Um, YouTube today, I've got myself a Patreon account, all right? Now, I don't want anybody to feel forced like you have to give me something. It's absolutely fine if you don't. I'm not gonna hold it against you. Um, but you know what else I have, YouTube? Is a dream. I've got a dream that I can continue making this content and make more of it into the future. That's what I really want. I want to entertain you. Maybe we can work together. You know, I, I don't, I mean, I don't, this is a very awkward thing for me, YouTube. I don't, I don't like to feel like I'm asking for money. Um, anyways, so yeah, it's just like a little tip jar off to the side, Wh whatever. Um, but anyways, uh, maybe you don't want to donate something, that's absolutely fine. Um, what you could do though, is share these videos. Dwarf Fortress is a scattered community, it's kind of a cult thing, so maybe you know of a pocket of people who have not yet had exposure to these videos, and if you enjoy them, maybe they will too. Uh, and I'd really appreciate that. In fact, I want to give a shout out to my friend Ra Raphael Wolicki, whose name I'm sure I mangled beyond recognition. Uh, you've been sharing my videos on Reddit, and I really appreciate that. I want to give a quick little shout out for that. You're a rock star, and I actually love you a little bit. Anyways, YouTube, I'm not going to take up any more of your time. Thanks for hearing me out. Back to your previously scheduled program. Thanks for staying tuned. And now, back to the show. Bim has taken a hit. The dwarf whacked me in the nose with the pommel of their axe and crushed my nose. I mean, I know I'm supposed to be going for the whole balance thing here, but mm, you're kind of asking for death. Kugshulkas, go! Ah, missed. Go for those legs. Had a couple good hits in. Now it's time to start working those hands. Two broken arms and one broken hand. Nice and balanced. You are no longer considered a foe of balance. Your goblin friend, however, must die. Make sure to grab Kugshulkas. This dwarf is still coming after me. Do you not learn? I whacked him in the stomach. Now they're vomiting. And again in the stomach. Let us stop this pointless fighting. I will fight no more. Ew. Well, good. They are still fighting me. Get the hell out of here, dwarf. All right, I think I just balanced them to the point where they can no longer be a threat. They also probably will not survive their wounds. But I didn't kill them. I'm not to blame. I'm gonna have to kill some more goblins just to make up for that. Travel mode once more, and it looks like these groups are still following me. I don't know why though. Like why would that be? Their groups are following Bim, but then when he turns to fight them, they scatter and run away in a panic, and I chase them down and slaughter them. Kind of an odd tactic. Oh, there's a goblin. Kukshukas, go! Ah, he blocked it. No problem, because now you got a broken neck, and they're dead. You know, I've got this silver maul here I picked up at Delairshlid off of a goblin corpse. I'm curious how this thing will do. I have to believe it's still counted as a hammer, right? Pick up Kugshukas. There's a goblin over here. Let's try out this maul. A uh, good hit to the stomach. And he yielded. Not gonna work, though. Good whack to the head. And I continue pounding him with a silver maul. And he has died. Goblin right over here. Hey, buddy. This wily goblin managed to outrun even Bim's mighty scramble. So I will throw... How about this pike? Missed. Oh hey now, looks like a dwarf is fighting this goblin. But oh, now he's fighting me. He's crazed. I don't want to risk bringing more and balance the world by killing you. And so today you live. Well, I'll tell you what, goblins, this has been fun and everything, but I think I should get home to Snarl Hill. I'm starting to get drowsy. And so our hero returned to Snarl Hill, leaving behind a tattered and bloody goblin war party. Alright, it is well into the night as we arrive home to Snarl Hill, and yet those beautiful, faithful Honey Badger men come running to greet me the instant I reach home. I love you all so much. Uh, I'd like you to say hello to the Warthog people. They're followers of the Balanced Beard as well. Everyone's gonna have to get along here at Snarl Hill. You know, I am pretty sleepy, but I cannot possibly go to bed before our nightly dance-off. The pigs and the Honey Badgers are just non-stop talking here. Actually, it's mostly the pigs. I hope they're not too overbearing. I don't want the honey badgers to feel left out. And oh my goodness, would you look here? The temple is finished. Fantastic work, honey badgers. But we'll take a proper look in the morning. I have to get some rest. And why did I just wake up? Oh, you know, it must have been like a minute before dawn. Uh, I'm actually gonna get some more sleep than that. I think I've deserved it. Eight more hours sounds good. There we are. Nice and well rested. Alright, now let's take a proper look at this temple. Very nice. 
Good job, you badgers. You can see there are two Z-level tall pillars holding up a roof above. I can't really see up there though, unfortunately. I should have made some stairs. Well, I can still do that, but maybe later. It's not that important. Now, I have assigned a zone to the temple, and to that zone I've added a location, a temple location named the Temple of Balance. And to this location, I will assign the Warthog people, because I think they're going to make just splendid temple attendants. There we go. I don't know what they're going to do there. Probably something, though. Now, hold on a second. Why does it say I'm still drowsy? I just slept for eight hours. Well, you know what? It's just kind of a rainy, shitty day out today, so I think I'm going to sort out all these weapons I picked up on my travels, Maybe chop down some more trees and plant up a couple more buildings. What do you say? But before we do that, let's take a quick stock of my current status. Oh my god. My nose is mangled beyond recognition. Oh god. I'm a monster. Oh, that was a goddamn dwarf who did that too. I know I'm not supposed to go killing the bearded ones, but it's getting kind of difficult. Oh well, I have to continue my quest. Pristine nose or otherwise. Let's take a look at my kills. Oh, holy shit, that Yeti I killed was born in the year 284. It's currently the year 1032. Damn, 26 goblins. Fantastic. And a whole bunch of other crap, too. But 26 goblins, that's not bad, Bim. Good fighting. Having earned a well-deserved rest, the Hero of Balance decided to do some work on his compound. And so a great structure was planned. The heart of balance in this world. Mighty trees were felled. Great timbers were hauled and set in place. Soon, a magnificent structure began to take form. All right, it's taken the better part of maybe two weeks now. I kind of lost track of time, but our new home is complete. It should also be noted that at one point we had a lumber accident when I was cutting down a tree and uh, one of the warthog people was killed by falling logs. Um, so, so that's unfortunate. Even worse, in the following days, the rest of the Warthog people just started leaving. I guess probably disillusioned by our whole cause here. But, eh, it's just kind of a side point, really. If they don't want to help bring balance to the world, we don't need them. I got my goddamn honey badgers here, and that's all that matters. Okay, you can see we have our large wooden structure all complete here. Actually, it is not entirely complete, but it is most of the way done. Uh, kind of bare in here at the moment, although we don't have many options of what we can put in here. I do have a wooden throne up here that Bim can sit upon. A fine seat for the balanced lord of the land. And over here, there's a stairway leading up to Bim's bedroom. And we have a bed, a couple of cabinets and some windows, through which Bim can look out onto his domain. Over here there's a doorway leading out to the veranda, we'll call it. There's a couple of holes in the ceiling here, because uh, this construction is not yet complete. There's supposed to be more levels up above, but those aren't done yet, and the honey badgers don't seem too keen on finishing them. I don't know why that is, but I'm not too concerned at this point. Uh, over here we have Bim's dining room with some tables and chairs, and some more windows. Now that we have a fine structure to call our home, I'm going to go and make another zone here, just like this. I'll assign a location, add location, main hall. And our main hall will be called Kalurtanoth, the throne of equality. And now that the throne of equality is all set up, uh, I'll have to figure out what to do next because I have not done this before. Let's take a look. I will shout out to everybody. Okay. My name is Bim Silversnarl, the Rapid Violator of Shadows. Holy shit, so I've got a title now too, probably from killing all those goblins. And what a title! The Rapid Violator of Shadows. I mean, come on now, that is freaking amazing. I've seen dwarves and adventurers with titles a million times over the years. It's usually some crap like the creamy ore of slapping. But this, mm, quality. Hello, Leopard Seal Man. I am the one you refer to as Rascal. Shut up, Rascal. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? <clears throat> I will continue shouting. I will claim this site for myself. Um, which seems kind of odd because I did actually build this entire site. But this actually claims it as my group's home. Makes everything nice and official, I guess. So my group will be called Ereknef, the Church of Balance. Beautiful. You are now in control of Snarlholm, the Temple of Equality. Ruling the Church of Balance from the Throne of Equality. Fantastic! I'm in charge of Snarlholm, the Temple of Equality now. Make way for Lord Bim Silversnarl, the Rapid Violator of Shadows, and the Church of Balance. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> you badgers. Okay, well, I'm feeling pretty good about myself, honestly. 
Now, I don't know what that means exactly. Not the fact that I'm feeling good about myself, but the fact that I now am in charge of this group. But I do have this awful feeling that the goblins are going to start taking notice of this little camp now, which is actually a pretty darn good thing if you ask me. I won't have to go hunting them down anymore. Come jump into the meat grinder, goblins. Come and meet Ultimate Balance. The Violator of Shadows awaits you. Uh, stepping back here for a second, YouTube, I've never actually done this before, so I'm not too sure what this means at all. Well, it looks like I can now invite the listener to become a hearth person. The listener, of course, being one of the Honey Badger people. I would be honored if you would become a hearth person. Will you have me as Lord? I cannot accept this honor. I am sorry. Ungrateful. Let's continue onward together. Yes, let's go. Um, I don't know what that means exactly. It seems like when I set the Honey Badger people to build structures in the compound here, they would just stay at home. But it looks like I can ask them to follow me and they'll come with me now, which is a pretty darn good thing. Those warhogs were keeping me safe from boogeymen, but now they're all gone. So I think I'll take with me just this one lucky Honey Badger. Little Rascal, I believe? Um, no sir, I am the one called Stinky. Just me and Rascal, traveling the world. My name is Stinky. Bringing balance to this it's, land. It's Stinky. <laughs> I love it. Whoa, 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 wait a second here, YouTube. I just returned home to Snarl Hill, and it looks like the Honey Badger people are fighting. Uh, quite violently, actually. What the hell is going on, guys? One of them's vomiting now. What are you doing? Stop fighting! Oh, shit, I see all the Badgers. They're up above me. Badgers, calm down. Whoa. I need an explanation. You, enraged badger. What is the problem? Hello, it is good to see you. Uh, yeah, care to give me an explanation? You mangled the guy for God's sake. All right, I, I have no clue what just happened here, YouTube. Shame on you, bad honey badgers. Ooh, I am so peeved. Let's go. Outside. I'm gonna put this carcass over here next to the warthog body. Rest well, sweet badger. Uh, badgers, this cannot happen again. Do you understand? No more fighting. Jesus. No. By the balanced beard. Alright, I'm not too sure what time of the day it is right now, but I'm gonna get some rest because it says I'm drowsy, and tomorrow we'll see about doing a little bit of something else. Still got some time left in this episode, and I'd hate to waste it. I'll tell you what, I'm completely out of drinks at the moment, so I've been going out to the brook and just getting a drink from there whenever I'm thirsty. So how about let's see if we can make... I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I think it will though. I'm gonna make a barrel. Okay, there we go. And what the hell, see if I can make two barrels. There we go. Okay, I got two barrels now, and I'm gonna head out to the brook and see if I can fill them up. I'm fairly confident I can. Oh my god, was that honey badger that was killed the one that was following me? You've gotta be kidding me. Rascal. Oh god. Oh god, Rascal, why? This game, I'll tell ya. Alright, if I hit capital I, it allows me to interact with an item, like this barrel here. And then I could choose to fill the barrel with the water. And each of these barrels gets filled up with a hundred units of water. It's so easy. Alright, and I'm home once more. Just gonna dump these barrels outside the uh, stockpile room here. And there we have it. Enough water to last me um, a long, long time, I would imagine. Now then, we still got some time left. Um, how about a little, little adventure? I'd like to try my hand at poking around that goblin territory a little bit. And I would love to ask one of these badgers to come with me again, but I don't want them to turn on the one that I choose. Really very jealous creatures, I guess. Let's continue onward together. Um, with that name. Um, it was, ooh, it's right there. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna shoot you straight. I have no clue what I named you. So I'm gonna name you Rascal. You've already named me Jingles. <laughs> snarl, snarl to you too. I can't understand a word you're saying. Come on, rascal. All right, well, I just asked another honey badger to follow me. I really hope they behave. Jealousy does not balance your souls, badgers. Remember that. So this honey badger is with me once more, which is great news. At least I won't have trouble with the boogeyman, hopefully. Now, let's see. There's a group out here by the river. I'm gonna take a look. Approaching cautiously. What is that? A goblin pikeman. What, by himself? I'm only seeing the goblin here. Well, let's strike up a conversation with a guy. Greetings, my name is Bim Silversnarl, the rapid violator of shadows. Hello, Leopard Seal Man. I am Euros Eastrakes. Okay. Why are you traveling? I'm on an important mission. Bizarre. Well, they also appear to be running away from me. I don't think so. Where are you going? I must withdraw. Stop being a wuss. Yeah, he is running. Very odd. I wonder what the mission was. Bah. Lost him. 
He can live for today. Balance is coming for him. Oh, is this him? Oh yeah, that's him. What's he doing? Oh, he must be all tired out now. All right, listen, I'm not letting you run away again. Uh, so there you go. Now that your leg's broken, maybe you'll be more willing to talk with me. Hmm, I'll ask him about myself. Just out of curiosity. What do you think of me? You are unhinged. You perpetrated a violent attack upon me. You are also a pleasure to speak with. You are Lord. Dude. <laughs> you are unhinged. You perpetrated a violent attack upon me. You are also a pleasure to speak with. <laughs> a pleasure to speak with and unhinged. Huh. All right, I tell you what, I don't think I'm gonna get anything useful out of you. And so, no, oh, no. I thought I would have killed him with that, but I guess not. I did, however, get my Warhammer stuck in his lung. And he has died. Alright, I picked up his pike. Uh, let me give it to this honey badger man, see if he can use it. What did you have in mind? Uh, I'll tell you what, Rascal. Uh, you want to hold on to this pike here? There you go. How kind. Thank you so much. He strapped the pike to his upper body. I acquired something. How pleasurable. I'll tell you what, kid. You stick with me and you're going to go places. That is a guarantee from a demigod. Huh, we got another group here moving out of the goblin capital. Guess I'll check this one out as well. Oh shit, there's a beak dog here. Uh, super excited, the honey badger man draws his copper pike with his right hand. Please God attack something, that would be so amazing. Alright, this beak dog is coming at me. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go for the eye. Or how about the beak? Oh shit. Dead. That was pretty amazing. Oh my god. Uh, oh shit, there's a couple trolls and another beak dog here. This troll's got a load of armor on as well. Kind of exciting. I've got to be very cautious here. I'm gonna strike at this beak dog. I hit him in the neck. I will parry this troll's attack, and now I'm going to attack the troll. Bruise his leg, and I will attack again. Ooh, I hit him good in his hand, and he dropped his shield. And I'll hit him once more in his neck. Oh man, he's not doing great. Knocked out a bunch of his teeth, and now this beak dog's coming at me. But I broke his foot. We have an uninjured troll moving in at me. Kugshlakas, go! I hit him in his upper body, tearing the muscle and bruising his right lung. My god, Bim is a beast. I'm trying to attack them all equally to keep them off balance. One is dead. Two trolls are dead, the beak dog is running away, and the beak dog is dead as well. Beautiful. I'll pick up Kugshlakas. I am praying I can get this armor on my big ol' leopard seal body. Iron chain leggings. Oh my god, I can wear them. Oh, that is beautiful. What else? Is there anything else? Damn it. All the other armor seems to be damaged. Oh well, maybe I could put on some of this other stuff. Oh hey now, there's actually some more leggings here. And an Iron Mail shirt. I guess I didn't see that before. I'm gonna pick up all this troll clothing here, because it'd be very handy to have an extra set of clothes to wear. Oh, there's some copper boots here. Uh, only one of which is intact. Oh my god, there's so much stuff I can wear. Got some leather gloves. Cave toed leather gloves. Awesome, as well as a male shirt. So now I have a male shirt and male leggings, a loincloth, a troll fur tunic, and a cave spider silk hood. Beautiful. Hey, little badger, what's up? You missed the combat. Oh shit, wait a second. There's another troll and more beak dogs here. No! The beak dog's attacking the honey badger. A honey badger who's actually fighting for his life right now. That's amazing. Can the hero of balance overcome the odds and defeat the beak dog in time to rescue his intrepid sidekick, Rascal the Honey Badger? And more importantly, will the hero of balance survive more than 10 seconds into the next episode? And somewhat less importantly, will the hero of balance ever find a counterpart to his one copper boot? All questions that will hopefully be answered next episode on the Hero of Balance. Until then, YouTube.